So the first thing I want to start is called the old school sweep. The first thing you want to do uh, is you want to get a lockdown on the legs, which is usually on the sorry, inside. And, and when I get the lockdown, the first thing I want to do is lift as high as I can, straighten and lift, and then get my underhooks. Then I'm going to get to my side, and I'm going to turn to my side like this. As I'm on my side, I want to get to the blade of his foot. If I can't reach it, this is okay. Now my top leg is just going to take his leg backwards and I'm going to drive the trajectory as I want to get him and bump him back. And if I keep it, I can finish it or I keep and use it as a sweep. Straighten your legs, lift your legs, get your double unders, get to the ankle. If you can grab the blade of the foot, it's easier. Top leg rotates and pulls his leg outward and I bump him towards his butt and then knee bar and then pass and get control of the head and get side control. Okay, one, two, three, hit. Nick the goat, like he had, he would shave a chrome dome around his head and walk out with a members only jacket. It's like, <laughs> what the hell? Stupid stuff. But, uh, or he'd shave off everything and leave his sideburns. <laughs> and, or he'd shave all of his beard and leave the under beard. <laughs> so uh, this one, you're inside half guard. Your entire objective is to bump his knee and push it open. And then all I'm gonna do with my, um, I need to get my bottom leg loose. So in order for me to get it loose, I gotta lift this ankle, lift this up. So I'm going to bring this under. So I'm here. I'm just gonna come here and start to get under and lift like this. Just like I'm gonna do the Caprito sweep. And then I'm just gonna slide my knee out. Oh, now I'm got up and, and now that's good. You can do whatever you wanna do. Roll through, take the back, limp arm out. Uh, a lot of times when somebody starts to whiz really hard, I, I like to just step out here and just head back. Or step out and body lock. Or limp arm out. Or step over and dive roll under. Okay, so again, you're gonna bump his knee open, your bottom leg, he's gonna flick his foot up, and you're gonna catch his foot, and that's gonna get your leg out. And that's a, well, that's the biggest thing we have to practice is just the leg stuff. Open the knee first with your forearm. Some of you can put your hand there and open. Then you take your bottom leg and you flick it. You get his leg up, and then your bottom knee comes out. And now this gets you up. And now what are you gonna do? Hunt the legs. Limp arm out. Step over the back and limp arm out. Headlock. Okay, let's do it. Get the bottom leg out. This is a really good one for fighting. Position, like uh, for instance, uh, uh, when John Jock got his coral belt from Hickson, Rick Young, one other person, and Guru Dan and Asano were at Hickson school, and he said, "Okay, Guru Danny, what would you, what position would you like to uh, to address today? Because I'm going to give you a private now, a private on any position you want." And he goes, "How about half guard?" And he goes, "No, a real position." Which it's funny because they don't regard the half guard as a real position. Then Eddie Bravo, that's the first place they start. The half guard was created by a man named Professor Gordo, and he hurt his knee. And he wanted to continue to roll every day, but he said, with my bad leg, I, I don't think I can roll. So he took his, let's say this is my bad leg, he took his bad leg, and his, he'd pull half guard, but he would just lay on his bad leg. And then all of his games started from here. And that's where all the sweeps, with him and Della Hiva, that's where all the sweeps started getting developed from that side half guard. It was because he had a bad knee. So I was at Balance Studios, Phil Megalise in uh, Philly. And same thing, he had a bad knee. And I go, you have a bad knee, you still rolling? He goes, yeah, you roll through your injuries. I go, exactly. I go, so what do you do? And he goes, watch this. And he just showed me his game. And it was all, it was all stuff with just a leg, his bad leg in, and then all of his sweeps. And he used wrestling with jujitsu. 
which I said there's no separation because you should be able to come with that really easy. Okay, so what's our next guard? The roll through. So it looks like this. You're here, you come here, and then you use this leg to move. Okay, he didn't post. He didn't post his arms. So when I go here and I start to roll, he starts to post. Now my hand pushes. And I come up. Now if he's still posted, and I've got, I'm here like this, I can duck under his knee. Just be careful of the knee bar. And then you come up. That's it. That's your roll through. So the roll through just looks like this. You're here. And. Mm -hmm. So you're going to pull and push. And this hand, sorry, the pull hand, when you go under the leg, you pull them on you, then the hand shoots across, then you push it away. So the hand that pulls is the hand that pushes. Okay, let's try it. Butt splash knee bar. Jake's gonna, she's got a side half guard. So now his left leg, he's gonna come up and try to knee slide through right to here. Now all he's got to do is just hip heist and back, uh, two hands backspin, there's your knee bar. Real simple. Okay, well we're going to do another backspin knee bar called the Vinny knee bar, but it's, I never called it that because I used to do this all the time, I used to call it figure four knee bar. Same thing. That's the new name, so knee slide, backspin, stop, now you're going to pull this foot and then kick your right leg over and knee bar. So you're just trapping the leg, just a leg trap. Sometimes you pull it over, sometimes you pull it under. You pull it over the knee or under the knee, as long as it's trapped, it's fine. Okay, knee slide, backspin knee bar. Two hands on the floor, bang, that's it. Now if you really want to gain momentum with that, for power, when you're here, you punch and you whip, like a spinning hook kick, you just whip, and that's what's gonna create the backspin knee bar. One more time. Because I had people that used to look at this in the magazines in the early 2000s. And right there, they would because I put all the space and they go, look at all the space and all the movement. Look at, that's fancy grappling and, and uh, they call it fluffy wrestling. And they go, it's actually 100 miles an hour and it's less than a second. And they go, but in the mag, yeah, because you have to show it. So that's why there's tons, it's like a movie punch. Movie punch is supposed to be wide and go way past the target. Okay, one more time. So if you really want to do it, you whip your body for that knee bar. That's it. And then bang, and you're on that leg. And your legs are so tight right here that that lock's already going on. That's number one. Second one, same thing, knee slide back, back spin. And then pull the bottom foot. And now bring your leg over, and there it is. It's a leg trap knee bar. And it could go, again, that foot could go under or over. Sometimes you might pull it over the leg. Sometimes it depends on if her foot is crossed. If, if she's crossing her feet, has her other foot over. So right now, hold on. Let's say she's got her other foot on top. So right here, he pulls the, pulls the foot up to above the knee. That's it, and grabs the ankle and then kicks. Hold on. Before you grab, uh, your foot comes over here. And then you come to the, that's it. Of course. So it depends on their feet, if their, foot's, their feet are across here or here. So if this is the knee bar and the foot is crossed under, then it's this, and if it's crossed over, like here, you pull it up above and that's the trap. That's it. Good.